Hi YouTube, Alan back with another great pickups video. Um, I really wasn't expecting to do a pickup video this soon in the week. I mean, it's only Monday, but um, when you find games, you gotta show them off, I guess. I mean, I am kind of a gloater, I guess, you know, when it comes to showing off what I find. Um, if you're just checking out my channel, my name's Alan. I live in Everett, Washington, and I do weekly game pickups. Sometimes I do a couple times a week. It just depends on my luck out in Everett and Marysville and Linwood. So, yeah, um, this weekend and today just was great to me. I mean, it's usually hit or miss, and today I definitely hit target. So, yeah, um, on to the pickups. Um, so, I spent... I went to two different Goodwills. Um, I went down to the one on Broadway here in Everett, and I also went to the one on Everett Mall Way in Everett. So, yeah, the first stop down in North Everett, I spent 35 bucks. I usually try to stay away from this one because it's more dirty, but for some reason they had a rush of video games. So, yeah, I spent 35 or 39 because I ended up rounding up because they're doing a rounding up thing. Figured, what the heck, you know, I, they're doing good for me, so, yeah, so, first game pickup I got was, for a dollar, was True Crime New York City, it is complete, next game, I know it's missing the manual, but for two bucks, Midnight Club 2, next game, for two bucks, was Magic's the Gathering Battleground, and it is complete, Next game for two bucks was Legend of Wrestling. It is complete. Next game for PlayStation 2 was for a dollar Stuntman. Complete. Next game also for PlayStation 2 was Encounters. Next game. For a dollar, Spongebob the movie for Xbox, and it is complete. Next game, I know it's missing the manual, but it's a great game, so I figured what the heck for a dollar. Kingdom of Fire, The Crusaders, missing the manual, but it's alright. I already have a complete copy, so this that game and this next game are up for trade, or if you want, you know, maybe I'll make a deal and sell it to you. It just depends on how much you want to offer. So, next game was I already picked this up at the swap meet a couple weeks ago, maybe a month ago now. Um, for two bucks, it is Kung Fu Chaos. It is complete. Now, the manual looks a lot better than mine, so I might swap out the manuals if you don't mind. Next game for two bucks Prince of Persia with the Two Thrones. It is complete. Next game for two bucks, Gauntlet, Seven Sorrows. It is complete. Next game for two bucks, Enclave. It is complete. Next game was a little bit higher than I use, usually pay. Um, for a, it's kind of a kid's game, but it's still a decent game, was Super Monkey Ball Deluxe. It is complete. Now the next game, I know it's not complete, but for four bucks, I figured, what the heck, you know, it's a great game by Konami, and that is Castlevania, Curse of the Darkness. The next game I already picked up also at the swap meet about a month ago, but I figured this one looked a lot better than mine, and the games barely looked played, so I figured, what the heck, and it's all complete, and that was... The Grand Theft Auto, um, the Grand Theft Auto pack, double pack. So yeah, it looks a lot better than mine, and they don't look like they've ever been played. So yeah. So the next spot, I, um, the last Goodwill that I hit it up today, it was just the best one, you know, of all of this. You know, I mean, they're all great to me, but these were just amazing to me. So. For fifteen ninety six, or yeah, or um, for seventeen forty three, um, yeah, um, it was definitely a great deal. 
Now there was one thing that didn't have a price and I, was, I took it up to him and asked him, hey, how much is it? It doesn't have a price tag. And they asked me what it was. I told them so you can play Game Boy games on your um, GameCube. They're like, you know, two bucks, you know, since they said it wasn't a game. And I told them, you know, you needed it to play your Game Boy games on your. So, yeah, for two bucks, I found the um, disc so you can play with the Game Boy player. I actually don't have this, so it's definitely a great find. My Game Boy player that I got when I bought a GameCube um, on Craigslist, the guy had the Game Boy player, but he didn't have the disc, and I, you know, figured I would either pick one up on eBay, or now I ended up finding one on at Goodwill, so yeah, for two bucks, I would definitely do it, because I always find the players, but never the discs, so yeah. Now, this next pickup I found for three dollars, I wouldn't expect to find any of these at Goodwill, but... I guess people are now, you know, trading them in too because I'm sure the system will die soon. But yeah, so for two bucks or three bucks, I picked up Assassin's Creed Revelations for two bucks or three bucks. No instructions, but I know with Vita games, they're right on the thing. So yeah, so for three bucks, I was definitely gonna play in it. So I didn't have it now. A lot of you are going to be jealous with this next pickup. So, yeah, I know my new subscriber, Grubgun, is really going to be like, oh my god, dude, you know, I need this. You know, this is what he would consider platinum, probably. I mean, you can tell me if, you know, if I'm wrong, Grubgun, but yeah. So, anyways, for five bucks, I found a game for GameCube, and it, guess what? factory sealed. It is player choice, you know, I know you have your little thing where you don't want to show any yellow, but I think this would definitely, you know, be up there in platinum. So, anyways, a pickup for five bucks. Found a game. Resident Evil. Five bucks. So, yeah. Five bucks for a factory sealed Resident Evil. I'm definitely going to pay that any day. So, yeah. I looked in the game case. Usually it's hit or miss. And it was hiding behind some Epic Mickey. Um, the new Epic Mickey, like, paintbrush and some clicker thing. But, yeah. So, I don't know if they were just trying to hide it so people didn't see it. But, I did. For five bucks, I'm not going to, you know, be mad. So, yeah. So, that just made my week. Um... I might go out later this week. I might just call it a week, you know, and be happy with what I picked up. So, yeah. Anyways, that's my video. I'm still just, like, in awe about this. You know, I keep finding factory-sealed games, and I don't know. So, but anyways, if you liked my video, please give me a thumbs up. If you're just checking out my channel, please subscribe. Feel free to leave me comments or even leave me a message, you know. So, yeah. Anyways, um, yeah, that's it. So, yeah, happy hunting, and yeah, until next time, guys, have fun. Bye.